Hello, and good evening, all. I got a story from, uh, about the Supreme Court. And I think the Supreme Court's really come down hard on Pennsylvania over this bullshit. Pennsylvania tells the Supreme Court it should not intervene with coronavirus shutdowns that they do not have authority. Bullshit. They're trying to say the Pennsylvania has more authority than the Supreme Court in the United States Constitution. This is the Supreme Court's job to make sure everyone obeys the Constitution. Now, over to the story. Pennsylvania officials responded Monday to a call for the United States Supreme Court to suspend the state business closure, saying it is appropriate use of Governor Tom Wolf's broad powers. No, it violates the 1st, 5th, and 14th. Citing Supreme Court cases upholding the power of states to respond to public health emergency even when individual rights are infringed, the Pennsylvania Attorney General's Office said in a filing on Wolf and Health Secretary Dr. Rachel Levin's behalf that the Supreme Court should not interfere. A group of businessmen and people, including Bethel Ham's real estate agent Kathy Gregory and Allegheny County State Representative candidate Danny DeVito filed a request in the Supreme Court last week. They said the business closure order and process by which the state granted exemptions violate their state, their constitutional rights. <laughs> All these damn things violate everyone's rights. Justice Samuel Alito, who handles motions before the court, Arising from the case in Pennsylvania last week, ordered Wolf and Levine to respond by noon Monday. The state officials said the Supreme Court has recognized that constitutional rights can be limited when necessary to protect the welfare of the public and that states have broad powers to do that. It would be improper for the Supreme Court to interfere, intervene, they said. In contact with the COVID 19 pandemic, this requires delicate balancing. Close to a few businesses and COVID-19 will continue to spread and to collapsing our health care system. Close to many people will be unable to access life saving supplies, the state's filing said. The Pennsylvania Supreme Court unanimously agreed last month that Wolf had the authority under the state to issue his March 19 executive order shutting non life sustaining businesses as a lawful exercise of the state's police power. The state filing notes. <clears throat> this, yeah, they're going to give more power to their boss. The people and businesses who asked the U.S. Supreme Court to suspend the order are trying to force Pennsylvania to prematurely reopen businesses against the advice of experts and data. Uh, the data is actually going against you now. Doing that, doing, doing that, rather than continue to phase reopening now underway, will not will cost lives. It's costing lives now. Gregory, a real estate agent licensed through the Better Homes and Garden Real Estate in Bethlehem, believes real estate sales are life sustaining, but the brokerage is now closed under Wolf's order, so she is unable to keep working from home and do other professionals, such as lawyers and accountants. Yeah, what about the right to see a counsel? You're saying I can't do that now in Pennsylvania. She claims, according to the state's Supreme Court decision, Gregory told the morning call. And that's the paper I'm reading this from. On Friday, that she has clients who agreed to sell their homes, but are unable to buy new properties before that order took effect. And she noted that people in the military are still moving from one assignment to the next and must find places to live. <laughs> yeah, uh, Democrats don't care about the military. DeVito, a Republican from Carnegie, Allegheny County, complained in the state Supreme Court case that his campaign officers office was closed while the district office of his opponent, State Representative Anita Kulik, a Democrat, remains open. Yes, because the, de the governor is also Democrat. They have to protect each other. The state Supreme Court pointed out legislative officers are not campaign officers. Uh, they still can campaign out of there. Uh, the other potentials are Blueberry Hill Public Golf Course and Lounge in Warren County, Tampa Parts Producer Caledonia Land Company and Laundromat B and J Laundry, because timber producer and laundromats were moved to the list of life-sustaining businesses. This.
state Supreme Court did not consider the claim. Yeah, I hope the Supreme Court gets comes down and gets it. That's not a reason. You did not back it up with... You could not prove that what you did was legal underneath the Constitution. And get say, boom, no, all your orders now must obey the foot. All the amendments to the Constitution. The only, the only amendment no one ever broke of the Constitution is the third. And I doubt that one's ever be broken. Uh, let me know what you think about what's going to happen to Pennsylvania. Um, down below and I'll respond to you. Also, if you like what I do, hit the like button and subscribe to me. Always be good, have fun, be safe, and bye-bye.